Hi everyone, welcome to Karina's blog. I'm Karina and I'm a full-time entrepreneur. And today I'm super excited to share with you 10 different ways that I generated income in 2021. And these are things that you can start doing today to start generating some extra cash or making them your main source of income. Before we dive in, I need to give you the disclaimer that the availability of these jobs and compensation is gonna vary based on your location. While this may be all ideas for you to generate some extra cash, I have to tell you that these are all ways in which I sustain myself as a full-time entrepreneur. As I wait for my business to take off, I have to do different odd jobs in order to pay the bills. And that's just the reality. And the reason that I'm willing to do this is because I want the freedom to be able to, number one, choose when I want to work, with who I want to work, and how much I'm going to make. When you are a part-time or full-time employee, a lot of this is already predetermined and you kind of have a cap and you also don't have the flexibility to choose a schedule and therefore have more limited time that you're available to work on your business and to be available for your family and the things that you want to do. All right, so let's dive in into the 10 different ways that you can start generating income this year. Number one is going to be acting, and no, you do not need any experience. I came across a website called Slate Casting. I think they're a production agency, and what they do is that they um, do different commercials for different companies, and they are always looking for real people to be featured in these commercials. So what you can do is go on their website, make, create a profile, and based on the information you provide, they match you to certain campaigns and invite you to a cast. The casting consists in either sending a picture, recording a video night with COVID before you could go in person. But I don't think that they have that option anymore. But these gigs can start anywhere from $250 up to $10,000 depending on the gig and how long they're gonna be using you for. So I got a gig for my mother-in-law for a um, pharmaceutical company where she got paid $2,000 to have 30 minutes of shooting in the park and all she did was take selfies. I don't know if they got to use that, but she made some good money in just 30 minutes. Another gig I got to do with my husband and our daughter was for Harvard Extension School where I pretended to be a student um, studying from home while my husband was cooking and our daughter was, you know, just like coloring. And if you go on the Harvard Extension School, website you will see us right there so it's pretty cool and i think we got paid 800 dollars each number two is completing surveys online and i know there are so many companies where you can do this but a company that i used this past year was cambridge focus and what i did was a service about covid19 campaigns that the state is launching to encourage people to get vaccinated and i got paid 150 dollars my husband did it too and you know, that was an extra $300 over like two hours. You can go on their website, create a profile, and based on your information, they will match you to certain campaigns to pre-qualify you. And then you just follow a process to see if you qualify as the candidates that they are looking for to provide feedback and get paid and try new products or even see things before they launch to the public. Number three is to become a brand ambassador. And what this means is that different brands hire you to be their ambassador for certain events or even a certain campaign that they are launching. Events I did this past summer were for different um, alcoholic beverages. So I got to go to different liquor stores, to some charity events, and promote um, Patron and Tito's Vodka. So it was a lot of fun and you just, interact with the customers, have them try some drinks, or just hang out um, branded merchandise to encourage them to make some sales. And you can pay anywhere from $25 to $50 an hour. There is a Facebook group called Brand Ambassadors of Boston, and maybe there are similar groups in other cities and states, but I recommend you do a search because a lot of companies rely on these groups to post different opportunities and there's also a lot of recruiters. So on this particular group, I see posts almost every single day. And if you're interested, you just follow the instructions usually to email them with your resume and pictures and get all set up. Number four and five are kind of industry specific and they are both in the event industry. Number four is going to be to be a bartender or work at a private party. So this past summer, we got to be unofficial bartenders. We're going to call ourselves beverage pourers. 
if that's how you say it, but that's exactly how the job got posted. And all we did was literally just pour the drinks for the guests that were at that particular party. Another time, John, my husband, got to be a grill attendant at a cookout. So there's always people looking for different type of positions at private parties so that they can be attending their guests. So this is another way that you can generate some extra cash, especially in the summer. And this usually pay between $50 to $100 an hour. Number five is going to be to be a photo booth attendant. And as you've seen in the recent years, photo booths have become super popular for weddings, birthday parties, and special events. So these companies rely on people, the photo booth host, attendants, or assistants to work the events. We found a company to do regular events throughout the year, through the last year, and they typically pay anywhere from $25 to $100 an hour, depending on the event. But also, if you want to look into it, you can buy a photo booth and start a company yourself. And they give rent anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000. And I think the initial investment is under two k So definitely look into it. Number six and seven are also going to be industry specific and are going to be all about fashion. So number six is going to be organizing closets. If this comes naturally to you, if you like organizing spaces, keeping things tidy, if you have it in you, you can help a messy person get organized. So this year I got to help a friend organize her closet. We got her a special rack to rearrange things and I got paid for it. You can set a specific price or you can charge by the hour. I got to make $120 I think she gave me and it took us um, like three hours. So you do the math. But if you want to make this your thing, it What's cool about it is that a lot of the times while you're helping somebody organize, they're going to find things that they want to get rid of. And this brings us to number seven, which is selling on Poshmark. So Poshmark is a marketplace where you can sell clothing, shoes, and accessories that you no longer wear or didn't get to wear, or things that you get from people who you clear their closets and they have things that they don't want anymore, or retail arbitrage. And let me tell you a little bit more about that. So that next time you're shopping, you keep your eyes out, not just for the things that you're looking for, but for great deals that you can flip. If you're out shopping and you see something at a great discount that you think to yourself, oh my God, this is such a great deal, but it's not really my style. I don't really like it. Chances are that online or in the majority of marketplaces is still going for a higher price. So you have the opportunity to buy it at a clearance and reselling it for a higher price and therefore making a profit. There are hundreds if not thousands of full-time Poshmark resellers that do this. My first Poshmark sale was many years ago and it was a Rachel So fur jacket that I found at TJ Maxx for like $20 and I purchased it you know thinking that maybe I could resell it and I still had 30 days in case it didn't move as quickly to return it and guess what within a week it's sold and do remember that Poshmark takes a percentage so leave enough room to make a profit. Number eight is also another online marketplace and it is definitely my favorite and it's Facebook marketplace. There's also Craigslist. I kind of use them both to not only sell things around my house that I no longer want, especially household items, but there's also so much opportunity within the platform. People are selling things for very cheap or just giving them away because they want them out. And this gives an opportunity for you to grab these things and resell them in the same marketplace. I purchased um, this mirror for $8 at a store and I sold it at the marketplace for 60 same day. I also have purchased a desk during the pandemic. All desks in Ikea were sold out. So I saw someone posted a desk that goes over for over $120 on Ikea and she posted it for like 30 bucks. So we went, bought the desk, brought it home. I styled it and resold it within the same week. We have also gone to pick up free stuff and I have to tell you there was one time that we picked up a free item and sold it for $500 the same day. For 9 and 10 are also industry specific and are in the small business industries. Number 9 is becoming a virtual assistant. As a virtual assistant, what you do is help executive small business owners to do different tasks virtually. That means online at the comfort of your home or of your own home or wherever you are in the world. Tasks can include checking emails, making reservations, um, posting on social media, different things like that. 
and typically you can dedicate anywhere from five to ten hours to each client you can get different clients i only did it for one company and i was dedicating about 10 hours a week and they typically pay anywhere from 25 dollars an hour to 35 dollars an hour depending on the tasks that you'll be doing the experience and things like that number 10 is going to be a few different tasks all combined into one so one of the businesses I have been pursuing in the last few years is becoming a business consultant. And what this means is that I consult with different small business owners and entrepreneurs to create different strategies, um, specifically in marketing to grow their business. But in the past year, I have done many different tasks to help different small businesses in different ways. So some of the things I have done is some graphic design work, which include making a logo, um, branding, uh, flyers, creating a website. If you are good at any of these tasks, there's a big need for you in the marketplace. Small businesses need you and they're willing to pay you for it. As you know, small businesses are having a hard time to adapt, especially mom and pop shops that are not adapting as quickly to all the technological advances that we are having. So they need help to update their websites. They need help by having a presence online. There are people willing to pay you just to help them open Instagram and teach them how to do that. So if this is you, there's great money to be made there. You can charge somebody $60 an hour. You can charge someone $1,500 for a website and even to create a logo. I do wish that this video was part of the list of how I made some money because when I was consistently doing YouTube back in the day, about 9 to 11 years ago, I managed to generate $100 in AdSense revenue. So this is going to be something I will be implementing this upcoming year and invite you to do it as well if you feel it's in you to start putting content. The time is now. Do not wait any longer. And this concludes the 10 different ways that I made money in 2021. And these are things that you can start doing to generate some extra income this year as well. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, let me know below. And if you also have some suggestions that you want to share with everybody else, definitely please share below.